Hey there, it's Glenn here. We're just going to run through how to use a spreadsheet to record your trades. So here we go. The first thing I thought we'd use is OpenOffice because the uh, OpenOffice is a free spreadsheet. So um, let's um, go and get that. So here I am at openoffice.org and let's download a spreadsheet. As you can see this is 127 meg download so if you're on a, a low volume internet package then uh, you might want to check with your family to make sure it's okay to download at that size. Uh, for most people it should be fine. Okay, let's look at Airan. The minimum price is 14, the maximum, the market price is 15, maximum 16. Okay. So let's say I'm going to trade Airunes. So that I'll just put in today's date. Okay, so 18th of July, July, quantity, okay, so I'm going to trade 1100 and I'm going to try buying them at 14. So here's where I do the formula, so the first thing I put in is the equal sign, and then I click on the buy price, hit the star, and the quantity, and you can see there it's calculated the total. See there it's D2 times C2, so that's cell D2, and that's cell C2. So 14 times 1100 is 15400. Okay, when I bought them at 14, Let's say that I try and sell them for 15. Now, the total sell price is going to be the quantity times the sell price. So I hit equals that times that gives me 16,500. So the next one here is my projected profit. So this is not your actual profit. I'm setting this up before the trade to work out what I'm likely to make out of it, not what I actually make out of it. Okay, so the projected profit is the sell price minus the buy price. So it's 1100. And that's right because we're only making one GP on 11. Now, here's the important part, the margin. You take the total sale price, I'll put this in brackets, it's the total sale price divided by the total buy price minus 1. And I've set the percentage format to show 7.14. The reason that I need to know this, let's bring up another trade. Okay, so we'll get to that in a minute. Let's bring up Ren Skimitar. There it is. Okay, I'll just put in 30 days. It has very flatness in it. Okay, so we'll buy at 15,300. And 
hand one just by one at fifteen three hundred. Now once you've got the formula in the cell here, I can copy that cell and paste it down. And you can see the formula's now got D3 times C3, so it's actually worked out this way. So 1 at 15,300. Now just for the exercise, I might make my buy price 15400 and you'll see what's going on now what's the sell price say 15650 okay so total sell price once again I'll copy the formula down The advantage of doing that way is I can copy, I can copy down multiple um, ones at once. So I can copy that and then paste it down like that if I want. Okay, so I'll do the same there. Copy. Paste. I could have done it this way, but anyway. Copy. Paste. Of course, you can use Control C, Control V. Okay. Now you can see here, even though I make 250 GP on trading one rune scimitar you can see with the same amount of money 15400 that i'm actually make a lot more money off the air runes in this example and the way i i work that out is well what if what if what if i was buying a thousand of those then it's a little bit harder to tell which is more profitable isn't it uh what if i bought 250 So see how the margin stays the same. See, I've I've made the same amount of money, but on on this scenario, I've only outlaid three and a half thousand. On this one, I've outlaid fifteen thousand four hundred. So I'm using the margin to work out what the better deal is. Now I'm not saying that these are good. I wouldn't actually buy uh, a rune skimmy at fifteen four. Um, so you probably have to start saying, um, what could we buy at 15.2, 15.1, something like that. And 15.700, say. So regardless of the quantity, so I'll just put this quantity back up to 1100 again. You can tell by the margin which the better deal is. Actually, you're making better profit on the air runes than on the rune skimmies in this example. Okay, I'm nearly out of time. There's a few more things that you might want to add into the spreadsheet column, which is um, actual quantity bought. Because sometimes you don't pick up the full order. So... Okay, that's all for now. Uh, for more information on trading on RuneScape, visit thegrandexchange.com. Bye for now.